So I'm going to show you how to make your NPO1 wireless. You're going to have to disassemble a G305. If you don't know how to do that, I have another video for that. I'll throw like a card in or something. You're going to need triangle screws to open up the back two screws here. I don't even know if those are the right size. I'm just showing you to illustrate the point. So once you take those out, lift at the back and then just pull back slowly. You'll have multiple ribbons running from main clicks and side button down to the PCB. So you're going to want to just gently slide those out. I don't think there's any pull tabs or anything like that. So I'm just kind of pointing around where you might find screws in here. You can see a pile of screws in the back. I clearly didn't put them all back in because I, I don't even remember where they all are, to be honest. So now just take something flat and wedge it between where the back of the mouse button is and where it's housed. And, you know, just push it up. You know, don't use excessive force. And then basically you're just going to pull it out the front. So undo these screws and then, you know, you can pull out the mouse switches. I was struggling with uh, actually pulling them out from the top here. So what I did was I actually just decided I'm just going to pop off that whole cage now. Similar to the mouse buttons, you're basically just going to take something and, uh, you know, apply some pressure at the back and pop it off. There might be screws if they are, take them out. So I'm just showing you different angles of the top cuts here. Uh, I just use those blue little cutters I have right there and I cut out just enough for the G305 PCB to fit. I'll show you in a second, and then you can basically use that as an outline. You can just err on cutting less, basically, and then working your way in if it still doesn't fit. So now just put the PCB into place and then those four PCB screws. The switch holders are straightforward enough, they only fit one way, so put them on and then slide them in. So it's much easier to get the battery holder into place if you just pull out the switch connector and then put the holder into place and then just reconnect it afterwards. All right, sorry this angle's kind of bad. Basically, as far as putting the shell on, it's simple. Uh, you're just going to push down at the front and then pull back a little. You're going to flip it over and do the front right side. You're going to push that in, and then you're going to do the front left. Push that one in. That one's going to require more force than the other side did. And then flip it over and just do the two screws. Okay, and then you're done. I'll throw the weight in here. Should be, it's close to stock, and then I'll do a sound test. And push the sides in, and you won't hear the side buttons actuate. 